So, uh, Deepak, a very warm welcome. Thanks for joining the Destination Film Forum. Thank you. Hangovers. Um, we've all had them. Hangover 1 is normally Friday, Saturday. Hangover 2 might be Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Normally it's a bad thing. But in the case of Hangover 2, the movie, it was huge for Labua, huge for Bangkok, massive for Thailand. Can you tell us a bit how it came about? Uh, well, we were lucky. Uh, there was a, there's a company out of Chiang Mai called Living Gay Foods. They came and approached us and they wanted to shoot Tango Part 2. Uh, but they didn't know whether we'll allow or not allow. We said we'll allow. Uh, the whole script has to be changed. We never allow. So you talked about Hangover 1, Hangover 2. But seven days a week, we can all have Hangover Teeny. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> okay. Hangover Teeny. Um, yeah, so. Uh, so we said we have to change the script. We don't allow movies to be shot at the night time, evening time. So the movie got, the whole script got changed to the daytime. And then they said, oh, how much are you going to charge? So we said, it was Warner Brothers. You said you cannot afford us. Normally we charge $100,000 per hour. Ouch. Okay. Then they not said, bar, oh, not bar, dollars. Dollars, US dollars. Then I said, you know what? We can do something with you. Uh, you, we can be your market, marketing alliance partner. Meaning in three countries, wherever you're going to put Hangover Part 2 posters, you have to put Lago Alo. And they agree. Fantastic. So and, and this Hangover Teeny name and the recipe came from Hangover Producer. So cheers to him. Cheers <laughs> to the Todd Philip. <laughs> so a bit like the Singapore Tourism Board with Crazy Rich Asians, you managed to do a marketing tie-up to actually yeah. promote both the movie and the hotel. Yes. Uh, see, in uh, Hangover Part 2, all those who have watched, there were four famous places that were shown. Uh, one was a place which was a go-go bar, one was a hotel in Chinatown, one was a luxury hotel in Krabi, and one was Labua. Now, when you talk about Hangover Part 2, you only talk about Labua. And that's what the Marketing Alliance does when you work together with the movie producers. And we are the first hotel in the world which has ever done a marketing alliance with any production house in Hollywood. That's fantastic. So in terms of the impact the film had on your guests, obviously the bars and restaurants were already iconic. People in Thailand knew about them, people in the region. But what about in terms of you know, the American audience, the international audience? How did it change things? Okay, so the impact, I'll say it in one sentence. We don't have much time. So, if you have to see how many nationalities Lagoa Hotel has, the comparison is you can visit United Nations. On that given day, we have more nationalities at Lagoa than in United Nations. That's what Hangover 2 has done to Lagoa. That's fantastic. And how about the guest? You obviously had Bradley Cooper, now A-list Hollywood. Massive in, you know, A Star Is Born and Sniper, American Sniper, everything else. Uh, then he was still up and coming. I mean, any, any stories about the stars? How were they? How did they behave? Well, Bradley Cooper was there and he was just freely roaming in lobby and nobody was running after him. I think it will be quite opposite now. So, so, but they're very humble people. Uh, very nice. I've never seen such a professional production house like Warner Brothers. Uh, it's amazing. There would be 500 people and they had to give the premises to us at 4.30 p.m. And we were thinking that, oh, maybe this is going to be late today. But in 20 minutes, they will pack. Very professional. That's incredible because, as we said, you know, we've all worked here with film and television. TV crews can be very slow to deconstruct, to get out, and locations have become very sensitive. How did the filming impact or not impact on your guests in general? Nothing, because they will be there. See, at the daytime, like evening 4 p.m., you'll see 500 people, huge machines, cameras, and at 4.30, you just see Sirocco and Skybar, everything fully set up. This is how professional they were. That's slick. So, uh, I believe originally they were going to film at night. Yes. And so, that's a big thing, to change a Hollywood script. Yes. How did you manage that? How, because they were to shoot at Sirocco, so I said, that's the only way to do it. I think until today, uh, Hangover Part 2 is the only movie that has been shot at Sirocco. That's a big thing. Yeah. And in terms of, you mentioned the Hangover Teeny, which we're enjoying now, and maybe some others are lucky enough to benefit from. Um, 
What, in terms of other products, how else have you managed to leverage and promote the Hangover connection? So Hangover Teeny, just for all the audience, is only sold at Labua and only at one bar, Sky Bar. Now as for one of very trusted publication, Hangover Teeny sells more than Singapore Sling in the world. And Singapore Sling is sold almost everywhere in Singapore, including on Singapore Airlines. So you can imagine the impact of a Hollywood blockbuster. Yeah, I mean, that's massive. I mean, as you say, Singapore Sling is, yeah, for, that's been the national drink of Singapore for years. So you've overtaken a Singapore Sling. Now, I won't say we have taken over Singapore Sling. Singapore Sling is still the national drink of Singapore, but Hangover Teeny has become the drink of the ASEAN region. <laughs> it's so, that's fantastic. Thanks. And in terms of other productions, you said that other films haven't shot there. Um, is Le Bur open for business? Are you, if a big enough production comes, with oh. a good enough budget, are you open? Uh, we, we are always open, but we don't want any money. What we are looking for is a marketing alliance. What we are looking for is how we can market our hotel also along with that. Because if you've seen certain places, we had put the name Sirocco. Uh, there were many scenes where our collateral was there. So we are very open. But I must say that I never thought that Warner Brothers will change the script, change the timings, will be so flexible, it's completely unimaginable, and thanks to them. Yeah, that's unheard of, really, knowing how Hollywood works. The script is the script. And in terms of the famous actors, or, you know, in the, in the film, have any of them come back? Or, have, if you can tell us, how many other famous guests have you had? Okay, so we never take our guest names. But I can tell you that the cast of Hangover has visited us four more times and they have stayed at Hangover Suite also. Hangover Suite at our place has become very famous. That's where Bradley Cooper stayed. But the most amount of money, surprisingly, has been spent by Japanese ladies who partied like anything. So it's not only men, but it's the ladies also. So like we say, we are the equal opportunity hotel. Whether it's gentlemen or ladies, they can have a good time. But yes, Hangover Suite, or the parties at the Hangover Suite has become very famous. So you have kind of basically a hangover package where people can come and show sure. live the experience. How, live that, the experience. how does that work? Uh, so the hangover package is actually okay now. This is something I can disclose. So we have the amount of liquor that is put in the hangover suite is the amount of liquor that was consumed by three Hollywood cast on the last day of the show. Okay, give us a clue. It's a lot. <laughs> Twelve bottles. And we're not talking beer. No, we're talking whiskey, vodka, gin. That's incredible. Wow. And in, in terms of, so obviously it's an iconic place for, you know, Americans, Europeans, Japanese and so on. I mean, how is it with the, the Thai guests? Is it also very popular with locals? Are they loving it as a place to come? They love it. Uh, they have, we have been there for 17 years. So you don't see them in those large amount of numbers. But yes, every day you would see, we would say we are 30% high locals are there, which is great to see. And how is it in terms of, for me, I imagine, I may be wrong, but you know, backpackers would love, you know, the hangover. It's their classic thing, but they may not be able to afford the Bua or the Sky Bar or Sirocco. So how do you deal with, in terms of dress code or so on, with backpackers and so on? Is that welcome? Okay. Now there's a myth that backpackers do not or cannot afford Lagoa. Out of 100 guests at Sky Bar, 70 of them are backpackers. They wear trousers, they wear shoes, they wear shirts, and their spending power is great. I was uh, on today's what? Today is uh, last Wednesday, not this Wednesday, last Wednesday I was at Carlson Road. I met a lot of backpackers, and they said, oh, we know Sky Bar. And it's a great place, it's on our bucket list. So, so, and, and you know what we are coming up with? We are coming up with the first Labua floating day club only for Carson Road guests. Others can join too also. So I heard about this floating day club. So you're going to have a, a floating boat bar on the river. On the river. And it's it will have a day club and that will have seven hangover teenies bars. That's seven. That's going to be very impressive. But if, if travel, not just backpackers, but any of us here, if we turn up here and our dress code is not 
quite right. Do you have? Uh, can we arrange shoes and clothes on the spot? Yeah, you can. There's you have a, lady, a tailor, lady, uh, which has she has nothing to do with us. Uh, so whenever the business is down, we know from her the business is down. So she has become rich. She was a poor lady, and now she has started selling. Now she comes in a Toyota Fortuner and unpack her trousers and shirt and shoes, and people can rent or buy from her. So if, if you were going to sort of summarize the impact that a Hollywood movie had on your property, you know, what The Hangover 2 did for Labua, already an iconic building, but what it did globally, I mean, how would you sort of sum that up? I think for Labua, the way we structured it, Hangover movie has given us 50% more revenue than what we are earning today, as compared to an evening in Paris to La Bristol Hotel, or the same Hangover Part 2 movie to a luxury hotel in Phuket. So I think we have, the way you deal with the production house is, in terms of co-branding, is very, very important. That would be my suggestion and humble advice to fellow hoteliers, that if you do a co-branding, you don't have to look back. That's fantastic advice. Now, Deepak, it's been great hanging out with you. Um, if we're going to meet again, what do we do? See you at Lamoa. That's what they told at the Hangover Part 2. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. The Hangover Teeny.